Coast, Coast boy. boy. You no, you, no. What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Chopper Slice, man, and you are now rocking with Coach Boy TV Fights. You know, aka Chop and Tosh Entertainment, baby. Oh, hold up. Now, I know y'all probably like, yo, Chop, man, you've been you've been slacking lately, bro, on the calves, bro. Man, I hope, man, look. I know, yo. <laughs> I know I've been absent, and then the cast I'm bringing out ain't even that great. Like, I hope you guys like it, man. But Michael Peterson, I finally done it, and I, I kind of rushed it because I wanted to get it out to you because you asked me a few times already. He was he was requested a million times by my man Michael Peterson, and I want to say to you, brother, I apologize that I didn't get him out quick enough. And I want to also say, rest in peace to Neon Leon Spain. He 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 was one of the greatest to ever do it, and you know he had like a he had a short career. Um, well, a short spotlight kind of. For real, his talent wise, man, he was one of the greatest um boxers to ever fight, man. But you know, career wise, he could have he could have been um even greater than what he was. I mean. Um, he succeeded in some good things. He just made some, you know, poor choices. We all do. Um, but I ain't here to, you know, talk about his failure, fails, or nothing like that. Um, I know y'all looking at the hair, but I'm gonna be honest with y'all. There was no fro at all that looked like Leon Spinks. <laughs> Leon Spinks, <laughs> the good the up and down stand up guy, man. But he was a funny looking character. I tell you. Um, he had that iconic gap tooth grin, man. Oh man, four teeth missing on the front, man. He he was a character, man. I think he was good friends with Richard Pryor, and uh, Richard Pryor done some jokes on him and things like that. Um, they were good buddies, man. But Leon Spinks, the man, he could fight his ass off, for real. The Spinks brothers could get it in, like no 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 bull s. Like both of them are um, Olympic gold medalists. Um, Leon Spinks actually won the um, Olympics when Sugar Ray Leonard did. Um, I think they both performed at the seven, 1976 Olympics in Montreal, the Summer Olympics, and Leon Spinks won it for either heavyweight or light heavy, maybe light heavy or heavy. I can't remember. It was either one, and uh, Sugar Ray won it in um, welterweight or lightweight. I can't really be for sure. I want to say welterweight he fought the olympics at welterweight maybe light i'm not sure probably light usually when people go to the olympics they fight one weight class under what they end up fighting some most boxers do but i do know his brother won um a gold medal in a uh, middleweight i'm not sure if it was the same year michael spinks was his brother and the only loss he ever had was to um what's the name mike tyson and i think he lost to larry holmes um, second fight, I believe he lost to Larry Holmes. I think they did rematch, and I think Larry Holmes had his number in the second fight. I'm not sure, but I was watching something that said his only loss that his brother Mike ever had was to Mike Tyson. So I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure he lost to Larry Holmes in the second fight. He beat Larry Holmes in the first fight because he, you know, Michael Spinks had an awkward style. Man, both. Both Spinks brothers had different like type of styles than almost anybody. They both had their own unique styles. They both was a little on the odder side, but Leon Spinks was more, you know what I'm saying? He had that more more swag with his like with his get down, you know, when he bob and weave his head and come in like Frazier. He kept his hands moving. Like I'll show you the stance that I picked. It ain't exactly like Spinks, but it that it, it monikers his um stance a whole lot he kept his hands moving when he would come in and his head side to side like joe frazier bobbing and weaving but um michael spinks um leon spinks did but michael spinks he had a different type of um style he was flat footed and um you know he, he kept his chin protected and he came in either f 
with his with his with his power hand first, like he was throwing a straight, but it almost looked like it was a jab, and then he would throw his jab second. He 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 kind of came in like he had an awkward style, man. But um, both of them could get down. Both of them can fight, man. Especially Leon. Um, Leon, I think was in my opinion, probably could have been. He was the better. He, I think he was the most talented and harder hitter of the two. But Michael Spinks was the most technical. Michael Spinks would take his time. You know what I'm saying? Leon, he want to get in and bang with you. So, but this is the Leon Spinks based on the Muhammad Ali fight. Nowhere near the trunks that he had on. He had on black and red trunks. Um, but I do have, you know, black, red, and white colors on it. And some weird little belt that I always make when I use the Muay Thai trunks. I want to use the boxing trunks, but in those times back in that late, late 70s and early, from earlier points, man, their their trunks wasn't as long as the um, trunks today. They Their trunks came above the knees just a little meeting the thigh like halfway like in the middle of the thigh between the thigh um mid thigh and knee so i that's why i go ahead and use the um muay thai um trunks and i would just add like a little that little belt with the tats to um, make um a little more height to it <clears throat> but let's get it on man i don't want to talk all day for his um fighter type boxer um leon spinks he had more of like a he had a pressure style I want you could either go with pressure or powerhouse. Um, he had power, um, but he had a pressure style. He he liked to pressure his opponents. He can, he always stayed for you. He had a style, his own style, and his with his own swag and style to his own rhythm. But he had a rhythm like Joe Frazier. You know what I mean? Um, he weighed two twenty one when he fought Ali. Um, six one. Leon Spinks. Um, now his now his nickname was Neon. They don't have that on here. So I, I lights out Leon Spinks or Leon lights out Spinks. Uh, like James Tony, I guess. <laughs> I just chose lights out. Um, actually, I don't want to do the same name as uh, James Tony. Leon Napalm. Leon Napalm. Uh, Leon Shotgun Sphinx. Uh, you know what? I'll just leave it, man. Um, you guys could pick whatever nickname you would like. Um, but social media handle I put Neon Leon. Um, his hometown I think was St. Louis, Missouri where he was born and things like that, but he ended up settling in Las Vegas. It's where he passed recently. God rest his soul. Um, I think he was 25 when he fought Ali. I'm, I'm pretty sure either 24 or 25. Now, if I am wrong, and it's not neither one of those, it's 26. No no higher than that. But I think, I'm pretty sure it was 25. I'm sorry. I know y'all like, man, can't you be showing sure anything? I usually am. But, <laughs> but um, it's, you know... I'm pretty sure it was 25. He's orthodox. Um, this is the kind of uh, the stance that I gave um, Spinks. Because he kept his head moving. Now, it's not exactly like that. But he kept his hands and his head moving. You know, in, a, in, a, in, in that type of rhythm. So, I got to go ahead and roll with that, man. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, But, uh, yep. Let's keep it moving. Now the hair. Now this is where it gets funny. Look. <laughs> There's no fro on here that's like Leon Spinks. His fro is kind of short, shorter, but it's shaped like that, man. You know what I'm saying? It, he had a funny type of fro now. And I'll give you some ones that I think is more accurate to choose from. I would either choose from this one. Let's see. Let's look at these. This one, he has shorter hair. Or you can give him short hair. Or this one. So you can either roll with the short hair, um, hair 65, 66, um, 67. I was going to go with this one um, and fill in the hair. I think that might be the one that I eventually change it to. 
Um, I recommend that one a high, like a, like highly. Sixty seven highly, but seventy is 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 kind of like it too. It's shaped like it, but it but it just looks weird. I don't. But um, yeah, man. I even thought about this one, but nah, I'm not gonna roll with that one. Um, but that's up to y'all. But like I said, six. I recommend sixty seven highly. Um, seventy. 65 66 or short hair now I'm, I'm rolling with this one at the moment i'm doing some thinking whether or not i'm gonna keep it i'm not sure because i kind of like this one a lot too um so but it's got that funny design right there but you know i i have to work on i gotta go back and work on the tats for the for the um for the sides in the back i'm gonna go back and edit those like i said i rushed it but yeah, man, those are the ones that I recommend. Um, eyebrows 10. Um, facial hair 13. Um, body and then you I'll, you'll fill in the top lip with the tats. I'll show you how to do that. Um, body hair. I don't think he had much body hair. I forgot all about this. I do think he had um like like a little bit um on his chest. About I think body hair four. I would go with might be a little more than that might be about right there but nah and actually no I think it is about like body hair for yeah body hair for hair color black um black black um dark brown I guess for the hair nah change it to black um actually eh, just in case I'm gonna go back and double check on the body hair if he does if he did have a lot more than that which I doubt he did um, from watching his highlights, you know, older days, different type of graphics. So it's harder to see those kind of things. But I usually can spot those kind of things pretty decently. But um, I'm going to leave it. I would leave it dark brown until you know for sure. Um, if you guys want to check as well. But I'm I'm going to do it and I'll come back and I'll uh, drop a little video if I need to. if you Or unless you guys would like to go check it up. You know, if, it doesn't matter. I probably if I edit them and things like that, I will I will definitely drop another video for you guys. Let's move to the now. I started with template 18. Figure would be an easier one to start with. And let me start with the eight and zero three sixty. Shout out to that dude. Shout out to creator uh player. Shout outs to um, Michael Peterson, man. I finally got him to you. Shout outs to uh Danny P, shout outs to Rhino. Shout outs to um Rampage on Job, Marshall Mind, Ricky J Sports, Aki TV, A B A V T V, um Showbiz, shout out to everybody, man. Um Dirt Game, NAC Snipe, shout out to everybody, cause like everyone. But yeah, let me do that one more time. Hit him with the eight and zero three sixty real quick. Boom, there we go. Don't worry about the let me get back here. I'm going to tighten all that up. I know that doesn't look good. It's all on the ear and stuff. I'm going to tighten all that up. Don't worry about that. But let's get it going. But yeah, man, Leon Spinks, man. He, the Spinks, him and his brother, man, especially Leon, they were very talented. He had some very decent power, man. Um, And he fought some pretty good people. He fought Holmes. He fought Ali. And in the first fight, he defeated Ali. That's what the this this Leon Spinks is based off of. The first fight with Ali, where he defeated him. Second fight, he had on um like a burgundyish, reddish, um goldish, yellowish type trunks. That I thought that was the first fight, but it wasn't. He had on the black and red trunks in the first fight. So I got the colors, but I know I don't have the design. And um, thank God the EA Sports. Shout out to EA Sports, man. They end up dropping some new, few new um, boxing gear um, for us, man. And I and I, it's a couple of new trunks, and I'm truly thankful for it. I really am. I started to put them in the red and black uh, trunks on those. You guys can if you want, but to me it was just too much red because his real trunks were black with um, red trim and um, two red stripes on each side. So, But yeah, man, that fight with Ali, man, it, it was like Ali had, um, I feel Ali could have done a whole lot better. He was older, too, when he defeated Ali. Ali was not super old, but he was older. It was a, it was like a little bit past his prime, but he was still the champ. So, you know, 
but um 78 1978 man and it was weird it was like 1978 those were um old school days man but it was almost like leon spinks was like a futuristic fighter in in a way it felt like man it felt like he was almost like a newer version of a fighter today like you know what i mean but he wasn't you know he was from those eras but i don't know it just felt like he was it's weird but um i, I like him i admire him um funny funny character man he's <laughs> funny looking character um he got some style man he had swag man um he was his own dude man that's what made me like him even more he was his own dude he could fight man and spinks brothers can get it in they could man they may have took some losses, but they can get it in. I think Leon Spinks, though, after his um fight with Ali, they um after the first time he went and he was supposed to um defend his um title against Ken Norton, but instead I think without permission. I'm not sure how that even happened. From what I read, I could be wrong, but I think um without permission or something like that, he was supposed to, or he didn't defend the title within the time limits. He was supposed to defend it against Ken Norton. But he went and rematched Ali for the WBA title. So he may have hurt he may have held two championships. I'm not sure. Maybe just one, but still. They stripped him from his WBC title. So But he lost to Ali in the second fight. So it was kinda like he, he lost on all ends. He lost uh got stripped of one and lost and and, and lost the fight and he kinda went downhill. <laughs> it said that he was like the only dude that'd get busted for like a dollar and fifty worth of coke, cocaine, and so Richard Pryor was joking on. It's his boy though, but I'm not trying to disrespect him. It's just funny little things, you know what I'm saying? Leon Spinks probably laugh about it, you know, or hit me in the mouth, one of the two. <laughs> but nah, man, um, real great dude. I looked up to him, but um, yeah, he made some poor choices. He was young, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's like he went from being poor to rich overnight because he faced Ali it was the shortest um record that anyone got a title shot. He was six zero and one. Like six fights. He had won six fights and tied one. And he ended up getting a title shot with Ali. I'll go breeze through it one more time. And uh that's the shortest I think with the shortest record anyone has got a title fight, I think, or the shortest time limit he had held it. I'm not sure. But um, that's pretty impressive. But yeah, man, this dude, they, they accomplished a lot. I think his, he ended up being like 26 and 17, though. But it was said that um, those fights that he had lost after Ali, he could have won them. He just went, you know, stopped training and, you know, started partying hard and drinking and things show up to train, training camp drunk or to fight or something like that. You know, he was just, he was just young. He made mistakes, man. The money got to him. You know, the fame got to him, too. So, it happens, you know. But, yeah, man. It was an honor to do this. Um, I personally, ever since Hagler, man, I, I felt like the, the Hagler and him, I could have done a little better. But, I don't think, I personally don't think I've done the greatest job. But, I mean, I think it's good. But I think I can do a lot better, man. So forgive me, guys, if you guys. I hope you guys like it, man. I really do. Now I'm really thinking. Um, Spinks had. Uh, I want to say he had. Yeah, he had brown eyes. Yeah, he did. Darker brown, I think. Now body type, y'all know what I say. It's up to y'all. Now I ain't gonna lie to you. I chose. Um, I rocked with body type 12 because he had a 76 inch reach. Now, I have tried him in the octagon. It's 75, so it's an inch shy. That's not too bad. But he had a 75-inch um, reach. But his arms didn't look super long, but they looked a decent a decent length, you know? I think um, Ali had a 78 or 77-inch, somewhere around there, inch, maybe. But um, I think his, he, he was only like an inch or two shorter on reach than Ali. Not much. But I chose body type 12 now. I will give you some um, choices to choose from. Either 11, but I feel the arms are a little bit too long. Um, body type 5 is okay. Um, body type 4, 
pretty decent body type, but the arms maybe look a little too long and broad shoulders. Too too broad of shoulders. He had he had a broad shoulder length, but it wasn't super. But yeah, I would choose from four. I mean five if you want. Twelve. Um even thirteen, man. Um this right here I think is a little Actually, that's not bad. That's not too much buffer than uh, 12. Huh. Forgot about this one. He wasn't super, super muscular, though. But he was a broad dude. He was a bigger dude. Yeah, man. Um, you If you guys want to roll with 8, you can. That's a pretty decent one. But it, to me, it's a little bit too ripped. Even the one I... Even 12, it's a little bit too, too ripped. If it was a little less ripped... You know what I mean? And uh, that would be him. But I went with body type 12. Now, skin tone, skin tone 10. But that's him, man. Um, Let's get to the tats. I'll show you what I rocked with on that. We're going to start from the first. I'll breeze through it as quick as I can. I'll just show you the basics here. <clears throat> now, I started with one shape. So I put it on the side. I, I flattened it out a little bit and um, spread it out a little bit, just a little, and I um, kind of like shaded it um, lightly. Now, Critter Font 9, I put a few back there. Now, the hairstyle that, I, that I'm wearing now comes with a little bit of hair on the side, so you might not have to fill in a lot, but if you want to go with the other ones that I recommend, you're going to have to fill out the sides. But I mean, Critter Font 9, I used it, I put it all over evened it up with the outline a little bit um and just you know copied it all around um this is um i use this for the waistline if you want you spread it all the way out and like i said duplicate copies um if you want instead of having to click you can duplicate these too and just move them in the positions that you need them um portraits nine i used right here under the lip he had a little bit of hair under the lip right there. I used that, shortened it out. Um, I duplicated it maybe twice, I think. Yeah, twice. I even used the same ones for the sideburns. And I duplicate the sideburns like once or twice. Yeah, a few times at least. Critter Font 9 I used for the um, lip hair as well. Above the lip. For the stash above the lip, I used Critter Font 9. You just put a little strip above the lip. Let me see. I was trying to find it. I don't, I don't want to skip too much. See? And you, if you duplicate, you can just slide them over. I'm getting better on my um, facial hair tats. I started out, man, and I sucked. I was way worse than what I am now. <laughs> But yeah, man, I mean, that's about it. You just fill in the hair, um, the facial hair, the sideburns. And I use this, too, to get a brighter red text five. And um, I mixed it in with the um, text five, the little Chinese symbol. I mixed it in with the, um, and I'm going to show you those, two out in just a second. The text five, I mixed, I, I, I don't know why I have it in this order, with the fantasy four. I mixed it in with that and it gives it a brighter red so if you guys want to do that and make the um like the trunks go a little higher it, if you would like um that guard the side guards i don't even know what those things are called and i'm a bot and i love boxing and i know a decent amount about it i mean i learn things every day but i don't even know what those are called it's crazy right i know you got a cup and things and i think those side guards man protects your like pelvic area or something but I, I got these on the side. You know, I always make those on the side. I don't even know why I got these colors. I chose red and black, but it's what they ended up coming out to be, and I just rolled with it. But I'm going to come back and tighten the hair up a little bit more. But like I said, though, that's Leon Spinks, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed, man. And I hope y'all do like it. <laughs> I know I could have <laughs> done a lot better, man. I, maybe if I took more time. But like I said, man, it's up to you guys on the um hair, whatever you would like. I mean, it wasn't super, super long or nothing, man. It was about, like, probably that length, the longest it ever got. Maybe a tad bit longer. He had, like, a jerry curl look, too. 
as well. But like I said, make it easier, you could go with the short hair. But that's up to you guys. Um, I went ahead and just went with this. Um, I may ended up switching to 67, I'm not sure. Let me see how it looks with that in the octagon. Huh, I'm going to do a screenshot with both of them. But nah, for real guys, um, thank you for stopping by. Um, God bless y'all, man. I hope y'all enjoy. Rest in peace to um, Leon Spinks. Sorry, Michael, for your loss, man. He was a great boxer, man. One of the greatest. He definitely deserves to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Even though he had such a short championship career and things like that. He could have done a whole lot of th things better. But, you know, he's one of those guys. He didn't really have much of a chance, you know. And much of a start, really, you know. But he kind of worked hard to get where he was. But, hey, for real. But, yeah, man. Until next time, y'all. You know. Coast, coast, coast. Boy. you know, you know.